On July 1st, 33-year-old David Olson started a little demo on the back steps of his house. He wanted to build a new deck. The project took a turn when Olson, who lives in Norton Shores, Michigan, uncovered an odd black spear buried beneath the cinder blocks. He found a bowling ball. And at first, he didn't think much of it. But then he found about 157 more. According to the Detroit Free Press, Olson thought the balls were just used as fill, which he was fine with since they were easier to move than your typical boulder. But Olson wondered where they came from. He reached out to bowling ball manufacturer Brunswick Bowling Products. Olson has three young kids and wanted to make sure that the balls weren't toxic. The company traced the balls back to the 1950s. Up until 2006, Brunswick manufactured balls, pins, and other bowling equipment in Muskegon, Michigan, which is a little more than five miles north of Olson's home in Norton Shores. Olson, who has chronicled his journey on Facebook, was recently contacted by former Brunswick employees who said that former workers used to take scrap bowling balls and use them as cheap fill. I mean, as you can see from some of the photos that Olson posted, lines were carved into the scrap parts. The balls have been quite popular, and while Olson hopes to use some of them for landscaping, he recently donated eight of them to a church to fire out of a cannon at a fundraiser and others that are gonna be used to make custom furniture. This week, Olson started a GoFundMe campaign to raise $15,000 to help pay for the replacement of his patio and build a new deck. He also wants to expand the investigation to see just how many bowling balls are lurking beneath the surface. So far, he's raised $10, though he's generated incredible interest, particularly from people in the bowling ball yard art game. According to MLive.com, the vacant 280,000 square foot plant in Muskegon was demolished in 2013. And there's no knowing just how many old balls remain under the rubble. I'm David Manti. This is I Am Now.